So obviously we take students' comments on our courses very seriously and they help us to make those courses better. But behind that valuable content, sometimes the ways in which students express their opinions can be a little bit humorous. This comes from uh, the, the wonderful folks at Rate My Prof. He insists on using big scientific words which are just annoying. Quite often in lectures, there would be a great deal of debate between Carl and the other professor teaching the course, and things would get so spun around and contradictory that no one knew what was going on. Also, Carl wasn't particularly sharp in the lectures. I felt like he just rolled out of bed before class, and his head was still in a little cloudy, hence why he couldn't get a point across. On a positive note, her devotion to follow the textbook, wrong symbol for wrong symbol, made it easier to pick up explanation where she seemed to lack understanding. Professor Jacobs acts like a child. <laughs> he answers simple questions on the discussion board with quippy, sarcastic remarks that he somehow mistakes for humor. Not somehow, it is humorous. You are, and it's, it's actually you are, it's not you are. You are an awesome prof. I very much enjoy you are stories and examples. What do you think, Stuart? <laughs> the course content's not always interesting, but he's always enthusiastic. He plays a lot of interesting videos to get people engaged with some pretty boring stuff. I was excited to learn about animal behavior, but once I heard that this class was not about animal behavior, but how to study animal behavior, I was not excited anymore. His course focuses way too much on applying skills and using critical thinking, instead of teaching us something useful. Critical thinking is on the exam, by the way. Oh. Uh, Ninety-six percent of students agreed, or strongly agreed, that students were free to ask questions, disagree, or express their own opinions. But, but one student strongly disagreed with that statement and said, Professor refused to listen to students' answers and refuses to acknowledge any answers that the students propose. She was loud and articulate on most days and dragged her R's. Sometimes the professors would bicker like a married couple about their views in class, continually expanding on each other's ideas but with a context of their own research and interest. Egotistical. Must get off high horse and realize that although students do not yet have PhD, are still intelligent. Very condescending. Whiny. Should climb on a horse and work harder to become a PhD. It is a fourth year course. Come on. Average prof, annoyingly happy. <laughs> I don't want to throw him under the bus, but... He can seem a bit condescending at times, but he does look good in a wetsuit. The worst lab coordinator I've ever had. Don't take this class if you don't have to. Uh, followed by two others. A wonderful lab coordinator. He is knowledgeable, passionate, and helpful. You seem nice and kind of goofy when you lecture, but the few times I talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, you seemed a little haughty and aloof. And not a haughty, but haughty. <laughs> I had to look up what that meant. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't make me haughty, I don't know. <laughs> the ornithology lab is excellent. Less group projects and more individual papers projects would be better. Um, this was for integrative vertebrate biology. We didn't have a lab. Do your friends know where you are? I think it was lazy of you to make us read extra papers outside of class. If what you wrote in those papers was so important, you should have covered it in lecture. Tough class, but I'm learning in it. Our class really gives him a hard time, but he takes it, and I'm getting a lot out of the class. If you want a good mark, avoid him. If you want to learn something that will help make you a better researcher, take the class. And he may be short and have a funny accent, but there is something attractive there. In your exams, make sure you have some easy marks for the students. Good advice. <laughs> You're a brilliant man and a good instructor, but do you have to be such a pompous windbag about it? 
Yes, yes I do. <laughs> <laughs> the workload for this course is very overwhelming when the class and lab material adds up. It takes up most of my time, in fact. I cannot spend much time on this survey because I need to get back to work.